Ian Eagle here on the Rich Eisen Show. You're calling uh, Utah at, at the Brooklyn Nets tonight in your 25th year calling Brooklyn uh, or Nets, mm. Nets basketball. And 8-13, uh, and 13, the Nets are uh, vastly improved. That would be... Uh, that would be 15th place in the Western Conference, but in the East, that puts them in the hunt. Uh, which, which is the best team you've seen through the first quarter of the NBA season? Uh, best team that I've seen? That's a, that's a great question because I don't know if I've seen them yet. Uh, personally, we have Toronto coming up on the schedule. I think they're really good, and Kawhi Leonard has certainly brought a, a edge to that team. And he is motivated. I don't know what's going to happen if he's going to be with the Raptors long term, if they convince him that this is the right spot for him. But it's certainly the right spot for now. Coming off the San Antonio experience, and we've seen a little bit of a back and forth. Popovich came out and mentioned that Kawhi was not a natural leader. Uh, Leonard went back a bit. and He's not going to engage necessarily in a back and forth. But it, it's just been a really good fit. They needed to make a change. Uh, DeMar DeRozan, they went as far as they could go with him. To me, they're the most consistent team in the Eastern Conference right now. Philly with Jimmy Butler, really talented, chance to be a a big factor come April, but right now still a work in progress. Boston is working through some things right now. Uh, Look, Golden State is who they are, and when it's all out there for real and the playoffs come around, I expect them – uh, to be front and center, but some of the stuff has has been percolating, and the fact that it spilled over with Draymond Green and Kevin Durant, not to say that's going to stop them from winning a championship, but mm-hmm. it just gave you a little brief inkling of what's going on behind the scenes there, and it's not smooth terrain right now for Steve Kerr and company, and that happens with championship teams and egos and contracts and free agency uh, that's not shocking, but it did give you a glimpse that uh, they're dealing with, with a little bit of drama there. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.